Actually, <laughs> this, this is the time of the show where we go to Cosmic Queries. Star oh. Talk, Cosmic Queries. Check. Oh, he's got him in his I pocket. Have Look at that. That was so awkward. That was very clumsy, Chuck. <laughs> that was so clumsy. Okay. So, but I so, hold him in my hand. So Cosmic Queries are when we solicit questions from our fan base. Uh, before the show, we tell them what the topic is, and they knew it was going to be about artificial intelligence. Yes. And they're just going to ask me questions about it. I've not seen these you questions. I have not seen the questions. And if I don't know the answer, I'll just say I have no idea. And yeah. then you, I'll ask you for another one. Okay. And that's not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's find so out. So here it is. Our first query is uh, from um, Mason Simpkins from Layton, Utah. All right. And uh, Mason would like to know, how could artificial intelligence affect the future of space exploration? Ooh. Ooh, you know what would be cool for me is like we were talking about with Bill. Mm -hmm. you, you just download your brain and all your memories and all your capacity to experience, put that in some robot, and then send the robot off into space. While you're on the Bahamas sipping a drink, you get to experience what that is. Bring it back, put it in, and you get to speak firsthand about that space, about that space trip. And you don't have to then protect the human biological form right. from deadly radiation, from the absence of oxygen, because it's just a machine. For me, that for me, that'd be the cool way to invoke artificial intelligence in the future. That makes perfect sense. I I, I like that answer. Yeah, and, just I, find, and then find me on the beach when you get back. See, that's the part I really liked. <laughs> that part. That's, that's the, the best part, part that I'm all about. <laughs> that makes sense. Okay. Oh wait, wait, one other thing. Go ahead. Uh, so there's already a little bit of AI in the robots we've got up there now. So for example, the rovers on Mars, it takes like many minutes to get like you know to 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 go the distance, depending on where Mars is uh, in its orbit relative, it could be up to like 20 minutes, a half hour to get the signal there. So if the, if the rover is ready to draw, drive off a cliff, it'd be too late if you're driving the, if you're driving the vehicle. Right. Because you're gonna say, don't go off the cliff, 20 minutes later it gets there, it's off the cliff. Right. <laughs> so it has to be able to have some sense of its environment. Like that's a cliff. Like that's a cliff, I'm not driving off no matter what the human is telling me. <laughs>